Hello everyone, Brandon, Side Hill Ranch again. I am uh, now working on replacing the seals on this tilt cylinder on our backhoe. So uh, this, uh, this tilt cylinder has got uh, a leak in there. It's pouring out pretty good from this torn up dust seal. And uh, you know, if it's worn out that bad, I'm sure the whole thing needs to be just redone so i'm gonna pull this cylinder apart i bought a seal kit for it put on new seals and uh hopefully that fixes the problem so i've actually never done one of these before and uh i have looked at other videos and the, the service manual i've got the service manual for this uh this new holland lb 75b and uh i don't really do anything without service manuals on these things and it looks pretty straightforward. Uh, I mean, I'd have to take it off and bring it someplace for them to rebuild it anyway. So if I'm doing all the work to get the thing taken off, and it's not a whole lot more work to just replace the seal. So first thing uh, I did was took these hoses off. As you can see, they're laying down here. Yes, I know they're pretty, pretty worn out hoses. They're aged. This is a 2001 unit, and I'm sure those are original hoses. But um, I don't rely on this to make a living this is just a farm tractor and i do use it quite a bit around the farm but those hoses could last me another 10 years who knows or they could pop as soon as i'm done with this but uh either way if i have to get hoses it's not going to kill me to let this thing sit a week or two for uh to order some hoses online and, uh, and get them out here so plus uh for these hoses it's dang simple to replace these uh this is not like our not like that track loader that's super hard these hoses you just bolt on and take off and you're done so uh not immediate hurry to change out all these hoses they're not cheap anyways back to the problem so i've pulled those off and uh, i'm actually going to try to replace these gaskets with the cylinder still on i don't want to take apart this uh this area of the cylinder or the the main part down here i mean this is uh uh it showed me in the manual it doesn't look fun to take this part off this part's not too hard hardest part is getting this stupid ring right here off and um they they have a pretty cool design they just put these rings over over the the piston that goes in here and then there's just literally just a little pin slides in super easy in and out as long as you've been greasing them um very simple so the hardest thing is is to get this uh this seal ring or this uh pin ring off and uh that's done so now this piston pretty much should just slide in and out just tapping it through and that will free up this side of the piston so i can just uh, or this side of the cylinder so i can take it off i'm gonna i don't have this special wrench that you use for cylinder caps so pretty much everybody just uses uh pipe wrenches so i'm gonna i'm gonna use a pipe wrench but i may end up buying uh those uh cap set wrenches and uh keeping them around but anyways i'll start and stop the video because all i have is my cell phone with me so um i'm not a fancy youtuber guys sorry but uh that's it all right, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pull this thing apart. I'm going to start and stop the video as I do it to try to get uh, all the details in. But uh, next, I'm pulling this pin out and uh, going to let that rest on the arm. You know what? I may not even pull that pin out right now. I'm probably just going to go ahead and take this cap off because that cap may be hard to get off. But uh, I'd probably, I'm, going to, I'm going to loosen that cap first. Then I'll pull the pin so this cap doesn't, uh, or this, you know, the, I've got the hoses off. So what's going to happen is, is if I pull that pin, this uh, this case for this cylinder is going to start slowly creeping down because there's no pressure to hold it and it's angled down. Gravity's going to gonna do its job. So I'm actually going to leave the pin in for now until I can get this cap off. And then when I'm ready to pull this entire cylinder casing out, uh, then I'll take that pin out. So I'll take videos then. See y'all soon. All right, well, I figured I'd add this part. I uh, have been trying to get this cap off. And uh, like I said, I don't have the little special wrenches that take these, uh, these caps off. They're called spanner wrenches. So if you're ever looking for them, I actually just uh, 
ordered a set online because that uh my pipe wrench is not getting this thing loose and one thing you don't want to do while working on a uh, hydraulic cylinder is score this um the bore so the bore part of the cylinder whatever this is called i don't know i don't know good english anyways this um this steel rod that goes in and out of the of the cylinder you do not want to score it you don't want to scratch it you want this as beautiful and smooth as possible because the more rough it is or the more scored it is the more it's going to tear up your gaskets and seals and uh you're going to be doing this all the time so if you start really hitting this you've got to do some major work on it to get it nice and smooth or flat out replace it so this pipe wrench and a uh, decent pipe wrench you use it for many things but the uh pipe wrench is just eating up this cap and it's starting to chip away at the little notches that i would use for the spanner wrench so i don't want to do it the wrong way and I was gonna buy some anyway, so I'm gonna put this on hold until I get that spanner wrench set that I ordered. I ordered one on Amazon for like 30 bucks. It's two of them actually, they're adjustable to do small cylinders all the way up to like four and a half inch cylinder, something like that. Uh, I'm actually gonna measure this cylinder, make sure they're big enough, but uh, if not, I'm gonna order. There's one more that's even larger that did up to like eight inch cylinders or something. But anyways, uh, the problem I had is, you know, not only is it slipping, but I've got this cheater bar that I put on this pipe wrench. You know, maybe I could buy a bigger pipe wrench that might help, but I mean, it's, it's grabbing really good, but I am bending even the cheater bar that I've used for multiple things. And uh, my last lift on it ended up uh, starting to fold it. So I was about ready to just bend it in half and I figured I should stop. So I really do want to fix this myself so uh pretty positive that cap's never been off before so they probably have it torqued down pretty good and uh i'm assuming a good set of spanner wrenches will get it off all right so i'll pick up where i left off when i get my spanner wrenches all right thanks so i measured this uh this cap for the cylinder it's about three and a half three and three quarters it's kind of hard to measure because uh the cylinder rods here and I had to measure from the top and just kind of view it but uh it's not four inches it's under four inches so uh so yeah getting a spanner wrench that can do anywhere from you know i think they're pretty common from two and a half to like three and a half or four and a half something like that so anyways um something around a four inch should do just fine for this so that's what i ordered and again this is the tilt cylinder so i don't know if you know the difference i'll give you an overview real quick Pretty much all the cylinders on a tractor have the name that goes with the action they do. So like this uh, cylinder here, those two cylinders would be the tilt cylinders. They're actually what tilts the bucket, you know, up and down to uh, to dump and, and to scoop. So since they do the tilt work, they are the tilt cylinders. So if I was replacing or rebuilding these cylinders, which are the cylinders that their only function is to lift the loader up and down those are the lift cylinders so when you are looking for parts or repair kits or seal kits or anything like that uh just know that i mean it's you got your tilt and your lifts on the front unless you have a four-way bucket which i don't then you'll have your bucket cylinders and then uh come to the back back here you know you've got your stabilizers these are stabilizer cylinders or there's a couple downriggers, they got different names. Um, but in general, you'll you'll know this is a stabilizer cylinder. You've got your swing cylinders on a backhoe. This is what swings the backhoe back and forth. So if you need to fix those or get seal kits, those are swing cylinders. You've got your your bucket cylinder operates your bucket on your backhoe. Right, that's what uh, makes your backhoe bucket go back and forth. And then you're gonna have your stick cylinder, your your dipper cylinder, dipstick cylinder, something. They'll call it something around that. That one's the one that actually operates this dipstick here. Um, and that's the part of the backhoe. So that's your dipstick cylinder. And then this would be your boom cylinder that actually 
raises and lowers your boom. So, uh, so anyways, and I could have those names a little bit off, but usually if I need a part, I mean, those go pretty hand in hand with, with what they have listed there. Uh, sometimes they have slightly different technical names, but that pretty much will get you by. Again, if you guys are experts in this field and you're watching this video and I'm saying it wrong or doing whatever, please leave notes in the comments. Let people know what the actual name is. I'll boost your comment up so I can show people that uh, I had it wrong. But, uh, but in general, that's pretty much how I look for seals or anything like that. Parts for, for the tractor.